I'm Bracket Day Howard, Bracket Day Howard Shy, Bracket Day Howard, Bracket Day Howard Shy, Bracket Day Howard, Bracket Day Howard Shy, Yahoo Bashim El Shy, Bashim Kaku Dash Bracket Thumb, Devon is my apostle, Great Millstone, Citation Alcohol on the Four Corners, Pushing the Strips in City, Love, Diligence, Respect, Fair, and Trembling. All right, it's a Taz Wom, another GMS Food and Knowledge. And, um, got this video. Um, it was sent to me by, uh, the big bro, Micah Allah, out there in Dallas. Uh, he has sent me this video, as you can see on the screen. It says, what <coughs> what can, what we can learn from Esau? <coughs> so like <you. coughs> what we can learn from Esau? Uh, I believe this is Elder Yashawamba's channel. He retitled it, Coming Back to His True Nationality. Okay. And in this video... Basically, you can see the spirit on this on this man, okay, on how he's he's beginning to understand that he is Esau. You know, he's coming back. <clears throat> this is the year of prophecy, and um, just as Jacob is going to understand and find out who they are, Jacob is the blacks, Latinos, uh, Spanish-speaking tribes, and North American Indians. Okay, <clears throat> they are the, the Israelites according to the scriptures. Now, Esau Edom, who predominantly looks like the so-called white man or Caucasian, okay? So, I'm going to play this video, probably do a little commentary on it, uh, his subscriptions through the spirit, and, you know, try not to make it too long. <clears throat> so, let's, 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 let's get it going. Hey, guys, this is uh, Josh with Call of Tenderfoot. I want to talk to you guys today about Esau from the Bible. You know, a lot of times we think about uh, the whole story of Jacob and Esau, and we look at Jacob mainly um, in the Bible, but uh, as I was sitting there, I felt like God was telling me that. Well, because the Bible, for one, is written for Jacob, okay? That's why Jacob is written throughout all the scriptures, Okay. Those are the chosen people of Yahweh Shemel Shai, who the world even calls God and, and Christ or Jesus. All right. <laughs> you can tell he don't he don't like the fact that the Bible is speaking about nothing but Jacob. You see, he wants to go into detail with Esau, but let, let's keep going. There's a lot that I can learn from Esau, you know. Um, you know, one, one of the things that I learned from Esau was the fact that you know he he knew who he was. You know, a lot of times in this day and age, we we have these people out there that want to just kind of climb the corporate ladder and, you know, rise to the next level of power and <clears throat> stuff like that. But you sit there and you look at Esau, and he knew who he was. You know, they talk about him being a man of the open country or the open field and, and in the Bible. And, and you sit there and go... You know, he knew he knew he was a country boy and a, and a hunter, and not only that, but it talks about like how much of a skilled hunter he was. And uh, hey, so he's basically bigging up Esau, man. You know, whether he has seen videos, and you know what, these these Edomites, they're paying attention to these videos, man. All right, they're watching the Israelites, okay, and they're hearing this character Esau, and they're trying to go into the scriptures and see what good can they come out of Esau, okay, because. The scriptures are saying that Esau is the wicked, you know. Esau is going to be destroyed, you know. But I want to grab this scripture real quick because this is beautiful. This prophecy that <clears throat> because this wasn't Esau wasn't random, you know, random uh, normal Edomites wasn't just going into the scriptures, man. You know, going into the story of uh, uh, Jacob and uh, Esau. But now, <clears throat> because of prophecy's sake, these things is happening, man. This is Isaiah twenty-five and seven. It says that he will destroy in this mountain. The face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations, man. So we're in that time. We're in that time that everybody's going to know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai because he set up his men, his prophets, to prophesy. And in the midst of our uh, prophesying, we have to tell who the people are. You see? Ain't no such thing as white. Ain't no such thing as black. Ain't no such thing as Chinese, Japanese, uh, African. You know? We have nationalities according to what the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has gave has gave uh, 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 his creation. You know, he gave us nationalities, man. So what is your nationality? You know, and this 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 prophecy is happening through his through through um through his men. Okay, 
and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So we're at the time where people are going to start waking up and understanding and finding out who they are, man. And he may not have said that he was Esau, you know, but he can feel in the spirit, man. You know? Uh, if, if, you're any, if anyone has done any hunting, you know that it'll be called a skilled hunter. It means that you've taken time and dedicated your life to uh, kind of perfecting the, the ways of becoming a hunter and, you know, the discipline that it takes and the work ethic that it takes to become a skillful hunter. So you sit there and you look at Esau and, and God would kind of talks, I, I feel like in the Bible he talks about a lot of the good things that Esau has, like his his work ethic, his drive to to become, you know, a good skilled hunter. Uh, another thing that I, I can't help but sit there and, and look at is... Um, you know, he did have a bit of work ethic. It talks about later on how Jacob comes back because he's, he's uh, afraid of his older brother Esau because he stole, he stole the birthright. And I, 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 no, he didn't, Esau. See? See? These, these devils, they like to lie. But we're going we're gonna to get that in the scriptures. He didn't steal a damn thing. Okay? This was given unto him. Okay? Esau... Your forefather, he sold the birthright. Okay, if you read these scriptures about how he, uh, how he was a cunning hunter, and you're bigging that up, which, he, which, yeah, he he's a cunning hunter, all right. He hunts nations of people, you know. But um, let's let's get that real quick. Let's see. You know, I'm start from uh twenty seven. Yeah, in Genesis 25 and 27, it says, And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man, dwelling in tents. So this is the, the, the passage that he's referring to, right? And Isaac loved Esau because he did of because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob saw pottage, and Esau came from the field and was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee. With that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore, was his name called Edom. When you go into the Hebrew of Edom, it means uh, uh, Adawam, which means red. Okay, this is the red man of earth. All right, and then uh, Esau. When you translate that back into his original tongue, Hebrew, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ashashwa. Okay, which means wasted away. Okay. So their pigmentation is wasted away, and their blood shows through their their, 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 their well, their blood don't show through their skin, salakia. But uh, uh, the curse of leprosy was placed on these uh, uh, Edomites. That's why they don't have pigmentation, man. All right, and, and you can see the redness in them. That's why they call Edom, which means red, man, because he's the devil. And Jacob says, "Sell me this day thy birthright." See, it says, "Sell, not stole." Sell me this day. Thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. <laughs> and what profit shall this birthright do to me? He didn't want the birthright, man. All right. So, hey, Esau, you got to tell the truth. Josh, I think that's what he said his name was. Hell, I might just put this on the uh, put this on the, uh, their page, too. <laughs> it says, And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him and he sold. Okay. He sold his birthright unto Jacob. Okay. But that's, that, that proved that that guy, Josh, is the devil. Okay. He's a devil. And he, and, he, and he don't want to admit the fact. That's why the scripture says as soon as they come out the womb, they speak in lies, man. It's clearly read that he sold his birthright. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Okay? He despised, let's see what despise mean. He despised his birthright. And we're going to go into a little bit more because guess what? It was written in the scriptures, okay, that this thing was, this was for, 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 uh, for Jacob anyways disdain 
and despise uh to despise to be despicable worthless to cause to despise so he didn't give two two f's about his birthright <coughs> you know <coughs> esau didn't care about his birthright man and it was set up in the spirit for uh for jacob to get it he just took that event in history okay that it played out in in that way man you know so so you're wrong esau you see let's get another one what's that hebrews 12. uh let's see hebrews 12 and 6. Nope. Mm. um I know it's Hebrews. 12 and 16. I should have went down. Duh. Okay, this is Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator, okay, or a profane person out of the temple as Esau, okay, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You see? Esau is profane, meaning out of the temple. You go into Revelation 11 and says you how to uh, uh, um, don't measure the, the Gentiles, man. Okay, measure them out, out of the temple. Roughly paraphrasing. You know, let me get that real quick. Because Esau, he's a Gentile, okay, the natural Gentile. He has no business being uh, receiving the kingdom of heaven, man. And that's what the birthright was about, the inheritance, okay? Esau, who for one more so of meat, sold his birthright, man. That profane person, man, which was Esau. Uh... And and this is one of the scriptures what what uh that 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 other Edomite <laughs> vocab no class Malone you see vocab uh, uh Malone couldn't understand let me see it says and there was giving me a reed like unto a rod and the angel stood saying rise and measure the temple of the Most High and the altar and them that worship therein which is the Israelites but the court which is without the temple leave out okay and measure it not for it is given unto the gentiles okay and the holy city shall they tread under foot 40 and two months i'm just sticking to this part but the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not for it is given unto the gentiles esau is the is a gentile man esau is a is a heathen out of another nation man so of course it wasn't set up for this devil to receive that birthright man uh what we at romans 9 if I'm not mistaken, let's see what let's see what Romans nine talking about. Here we go. This Romans nine and seven. Now that because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children? So stop trying to back up on Abraham, man. What about Isaac and Jacob? You see, <laughs> that's the damn devils, man. Esau. When you when you when you go against a Christian with these scriptures, they always try to bring up Abraham, man. All right. Because they, it says, not because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. <coughs> okay, and the children of promise is it came through the line of Isaac and rested upon uh, Jacob. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to election, might stand. Not of works, but of him that calleth. See? So before uh, uh, um, they were even born, it was set up in the spirit world, okay? So lock it, I'm going a little bit fast, but the spirit got me going through scriptures popping up in my head, you know? Let me go down. And, and he that have it, let him hear, you know? So I can actually six, hold that on deck, okay? This is um, uh, verse 12. It says, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see? 
So it was the seed of Abraham, uh, Isaac, and it rested upon Jacob, man. You see? So the, the promise was always given unto Jacob. Okay, um, Josh, <laughs> what can what we can learn from Esau? Well, you're gonna learn something from Esau, man. You're gonna learn that this that 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 he wasn't given a promise. That's what you're gonna learn. You know, you're gonna learn that he, he's the he's the wicked on earth. All right. Let me see. Uh let's see. Let's get the second answer. Now, going back into this Romans, right? <clears throat> when it said for the children being not yet born. Okay. Now remember that for the children being not yet born. Now, when you go over to second Nessus, six chapter, when you read from verse one, it tells you before all of this, before all the creation, all right, before the creation of, of everything started, this was set up in the spirit. Now let's go. <coughs> second Nessus six and one. And he said unto me, in the beginning. When earth was made before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened, or ever the foundations of paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together. You, you get the point? Or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in Zion were hot, and ever the present years were caught out, and or ever the, the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Now, we just read from one all the way to seven on how the scriptures is saying before all these things was happening. OK, basically, before the earth even took its form, this was create. This was set up in the spirit, man. Verse eight. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. And that represented us pulling this devil down, man. Okay? Pulling our brother Esau's uh, 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 kingdom down. And that's, uh, 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 that's happening before our face right now. Okay? Because Jacob is the black Latino Native American Indians, man. And the Lord has set up his prophets, the 144,000, okay? To bring the heel down of his of his brother Esau, which is what? Which is this, this kingdom, man. All right. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You see? So Esau is going to have a certain time to rule. Okay. And then after this current rulership, guess what? It's going to be translated and transferred unto Jacob, the Israelites. Those that were those that received the promise from the beginning. Okay, Josh. All right. You got to read these scriptures, man. Don't just read them for your benefit. <laughs> you know, hey, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't um, make it this way. You see? Hey, well, that's why it says this, right? And I stopped in Romans 9 and 14. What shall we say then? <laughs> Is the unrighteousness with the most high? God forbid. <laughs> and, and translated, hell no. <laughs> for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Most High that shew of mercy. You see? So he didn't steal it. He didn't steal nothing. It was set up through the Spirit for him to get it. All right? You receive, you, you see, you, you Edomites, y'all received y'all blessing, which was the sword, man. Okay? Y'all received that blessing, which was the sword, and we received uh, inheritance. Okay? Uh, 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 an everlasting inheritance okay hold on let's go to uh-oh i'm messing up that's the wrong button let's see what you got we saw because you despise your birthright all right and, and and jacob didn't didn't steal it 
okay you swore unto him for that for that for that meat you see you swore unto him and you and you gave it away but it was set up through the spirit man i just proved that with that romans and then the second measures uh let's see let's see let's get to uh esau's blessing there we go <laughs> this is genesis 27 and 38 and esau said unto his father has thou but one blessing my father bless me even me also oh my father and esau lifted up his voice and wept okay now this is going into uh, the blessings now esau swore for uh, swore unto jacob as we just read in the 25th chapter for the birthright okay he swore unto me he despised it so he has no inheritance coming now when it's time to get a blessing esau Esau got basically yikwab. That's what the word Jacob means, which he gets a planet. Okay. He gets a planet for, for the blessing. But it was all set up that way. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, verse 39, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So this is that quote unquote work ethic that you that you damn Edomites have, that Josh is big enough. The Lord gave, he blessed you with the fatness of the earth. So in your in your spirit. You 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 uh basically took over everything, okay? The Lord gave you the spirit to take over the earth. By the sword shall thou live, you see. So Esau got the sword. Talk about the sword, okay? And the sword is what and what he's raped, robbing, and murdering the, the entire earth with. That's what you got, Esau. Okay. <clears throat> Hope we don't start messing with the computer, man. All right, I'm gonna keep going. If it pop up, I just want to grab another scripture. But um, verse 40, and and by the sword shall thou live. You know what? By the sword shall thou live. Yeah, Esau and that bullshit. I just want to jump real quick. Revelation 6, chapter. All right, here we go. I got something for you. <clears throat> One second. See, he saw that bullshit. <coughs> it's all good. He said, By the sword thou shalt live. This is Revelation, the sixth chapter. <coughs> this is Revelation six and um <coughs> four. And there went out another horse that was red. Hence Esau, okay, Edom, Adawam, which means red. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, man. Okay, so the sword that Esau got, that sword is, is what took over the earth, man. He took peace from the earth, okay, through pillaging, rape, robbery, and murder, man. All right, but that was that was a part of his blessing, okay. And you can see that now today, man. You can you can truly see who who is Esau today, okay. So if you want to talk about Esau, let, let's really get into it. All right, Josh, <laughs> let's get into it. You know, let me um play a little bit more of this. Oh, Salakia, let me just refer to that sword, man. That sword is his technology. The sword is his nuclear missile. The sword is, is the gun, okay? The sword, the weapon, is, is his media, okay? And by all those things, his witchcraft, he's taking peace from the earth, okay? He goes into other countries, okay? Let's talk about that, okay? He goes into other people's lands, rape, rob, murder, okay? He takes it over. He set up coups, okay? He destroys with that sword, okay? And his main objective now today is to destroy his brother uh, uh, Jacob, man, which is that's written, okay? That's written in the scriptures, all right? So let's let's keep going on this uh, video real quick. You know, by this time, the time had passed, but basically by the time it comes back around, you know, he 
Esau had uh, taken his, his livestock and multiplied it greatly. And basically, it talks about how there's, he's over 400 men, basically. When <clears throat> yeah, let's talk about that. Okay, he, he's big enough on how he, mul- he 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 can multiply and do this and do that, right? Let's get this out of Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. That's how he multiplies everything, man. He don't keep his ass at home. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people, man. Okay, so this devil goes around the world, okay, with that with that sword that he was blessed with, okay, and he takes down and he takes nations down and he called them after himself. You got African American, Chinese American, Asian American, uh, um, uh, uh, Japanese American. You see, he was unto himself all people, man. So his work ethic is by a slaughter, okay. That's Esau's worth ethic. How did he multiply everything? It's because he took everything down with the sword, which was his blessing. Okay, Josh, <laughs> what can what can uh, what we can learn from Esau? Okay, what 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 we can learn from Esau? That's what we learned from Esau. Okay, it says, "Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, which is his philosophy." Okay, he is a proud man. Okay. Because he 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 manipulates, okay. He acts innocent, <laughs> he, he you know, and that and that's the spirit that this this guy has on him. He has this whole uh, 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 Esau was innocent. His birthright was taken, and he kept on fighting. You know, he kept on he kept on multiplying. He, he he multiplied his men. He forgave his brother who stole his birthright. This is that. This is the typical. Edomite, uh, a Caucasian uh, mentality, man. You know, it's a documentary, man. It's a documentary. I think the Who Built America, or something like that. And it goes into how 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 these Edomites uh, uh, got got America started, so to speak, through through the steel, through the steel mills, or something like that. You know, because the Lord put the spirit on them to be able to uh, uh, advance and take over everything. That was the blessing, man. But they did it uh, uh, in wickedness, man. You know? They did it in a straight wickedness, man. What can we learn from Esau? Esau is the so-called Caucasian man now today. Predominant who looks like the so-called, looks like a white man. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm looking for, I'm looking for, I'm looking for, what am I looking for? found it. This is Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. You see? So we're in a time period where this thing is going to translate unto Jacob that he didn't like who was spoken of uh, all, all throughout the scriptures, man. You know? Through ri- riches, because of unrighteous dealings, okay, how they did the children of Israel, injuries and riches got by deceit, got by deceit, okay. They set up coups, okay. They pay off other nations. They uh, uh um um they send off uh send, you know they shoot cancer waves and uh things of that nature to get to get what they want. That's that's a part of the sword, man. Okay. Let's let's learn from Esau. <laughs> the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's why you waking up to the fact who you are, because it's time for that transition, man. Okay? The casting covering over all people and all nations is, is where we're at that point where everybody's gonna know who they are. Okay. So we can the world's gonna witness the shift. Okay. And they're gonna know those are the Israelites. And when you go into the scriptures, they have the inheritance, they have the kingdom. Okay. Let's sit on that. We'll keep going a little bit. When they uh, come to meet 
He sounds like a proud American. You know, the ability to take something and make it multiply. And so, through the sword. I mean, if you sit there and, and look at Esau, there's a lot of good stuff like work ethic and becoming a skilled hunter and just getting out in the outdoors, you know. I think another thing that Esau tells us is. So, so Esau is good? Hmm. Let's go into the scriptures. Let's see. Let's see if that is true. I'm going to go into a book that I'm pretty sure uh, Josh skipped. It's Obadiah. <coughs> this is Obadiah 1. I'm just, let me just get to the point. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. You see that? For the violence against thy brother Jacob, man. I thought I thought Esau forgave Jacob, man. All right? I thought Esau forgave Jacob. It says, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that thou strangers carried away captives, his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them. Okay. So when you go into the history, your brother Jacob was was fleeing from from the Babylonians, man. Okay, and Esau, he he was pointing out the uh, the Israelites to him, man, cutting them off, taking them, bringing them back into captivity, slaughtering them, helping out other nations. But this is supposed to be your brother. You know, there's nothing good that you can come, you can learn from Esau, man. What are you talking about? You know, but that's that eat of my spirit, man. All right. What is that? The Psalms. Uh, 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 soon as, uh, 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 when, roughly paraphrase the babies are uh, coming forth speaking lies. <laughs> you know, goddamn devils, man. It says, um. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither should, shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. You see? The hell is this dude talking about, man? You know? So you eat of my shot, not going to win when it comes to going into these scriptures, man, against the men of the Lord, the prophets, all right? The Israelites, all right? You see why you you see why uh, he you know you can tell in the spirit when he said uh, people you know they they normally look look to Jacob throughout the scriptures but this is you, you're trying to pull out the good from from your forefather but there's no good shame a, a shameful spewing upon your glory man okay let's see thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people. In the day of their calamity, yea, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity, man. So you went and, and helped a, a, another nation, okay, assisted another nation taking your, your own brother down, man. Okay, what kind of brother is that? Josh, you know? <laughs> Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut those of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress, man. Okay? So what are we learning from Esau, man? We're learning that he's the devil. We're learning that he, 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 he set out to slaughter his brother, Jacob. And he said it. If you want to get into Esau, you got to get into him for real, my man. Let me get into that. It says, uh, this is Genesis 27 and you know what? Let me read down a little bit more. Let me, um, let me go up. I'm gonna read this Genesis 27 again. Cause I, I, I stopped it now that I remember. 
Uh, I'm going to go from verse 40, 27 and 40. And by thy sword shall thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother. Has has Esau served us? Not yet. All right. And it's written in the scriptures. He that have an ear, let him hear. Know that uh, he that, uh, 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 <clears throat> he that, um, uh, um, yeah, let me get it, man. Instead of trying to. You're going to serve us soon. Esau is going to serve Jacob soon. His revelations. He's going to bring this out like every day. Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth the sword must be killed with the sword, man. So that sword that uh, Esau received from Isaac, the Lord had him in a trick bag, okay? He slaughtered with that sword, and guess what? He's going to be taken out by that same sword, okay? Here is the, he that leads him to captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man, you see? So you're going to captivity, man. That's when you're going to serve your brother Jacob, and that's what... Um, um, that's what Isaac told, um, told, told Esau, uh, uh, during his blessing. And by the sword shall thou live and shall not, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that's going into history, uh, under the, under the rule of King David, Esau, Edom, I believe it's in second Chronicles, Esau, they, they basically broke away. Uh, until this day, but they're going to be back in order soon. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, in his heart, man, his mind, his spirit, okay, this is what he said. The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that's why Esau Edom is doing what he's doing now today, who is the so-called white man. He's slaying his brother Jacob, man, Okay. The police, uh, these Edomite white police officers is, is, is shooting Jake down in the streets. Okay. Uh, they created uh, the AIDS virus. They created all the damn viruses. They created all the viruses to uh, <clears throat> directly attack uh, uh, the Israelites, which is the blacks, Latino, Native American Indians. You gave them smallpox. You gave us AIDS and syphilis. Okay. You set up uh, um, uh, shops around our, uh, our community, so to speak, uh, of pork and swine. All right, uh, uh, abominable foods you surrounded us with, okay, to, to, to kill your brother Jacob, man, <clears throat> because of the birthright that you despised, <clears throat> and then because of the blessing, you see? So what the hell is this dude talking about? Uh, the good things out of uh, out of Esau, man. What the hell are you talking about? Ain't no good thing about Esau, you know? They set up this whole COVID-19 shit. Okay, the elites. All right, they order add KO, man. Now they're finna get ready to uh, uh, give 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 the world the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. What good? What good? What good has Esau done, man? You know, he ain't did nothing. Nothing good. If he did something good, it should be off. <laughs> Brother said that today. If Esau did anything good, it'd be off. You know. So let's go back. And he said, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob, man. What are you talking about? He made it, he made it, he made it his goal. And he said in the spirit. So throughout throughout generation and generation and generation, that was that's that's Esau's main focus is to slay his brother Jacob, which is the Israelites. All right. Who are the Israelites? Let's see what else can I pull from here? Uh, it says, Let's see, and this is why they're gonna get the scroll. Let me just jump. This is um, <clears> on <throat> Obadiah 1 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. And it's talking about the northern and the southern, okay? And the house of Esau for stubble and and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it. 
Okay, and that's that's written in the scriptures, man. Okay, Esau. I mean, and Jacob, uh, 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 Joseph. Yep, Jacob and Joseph, which which is the northern and the southern kingdom, man. They're gonna put their foot on Esau's ass, man. And eventually, and I'm just you know speaking, you know speaking now. I can prove it. But the scripture says that they're gonna be burned, man. Okay, they're gonna be they the, the the nation of Edom is gonna be taken out of the face of the earth, man. To have a big bonfire, man. All right. I ain't said the scripture says. Interpret this. It says, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. You ever burn, burn, burn some leaves, and it just burns up and, and it fizzles away. That's how Esau is going to be, man. Soon. Okay. Soon. So nothing good Esau has done, my man. Okay. Yeah, I know that's your forefather. Yeah, you fuck with him heavy. <laughs> but guess what? Our forefather is Jacob, Jacob. Okay? And through the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, we got the kingdom. And you and, and, and your and your nation doesn't. All right. We got the kingdom. All right. So I think I'm gonna end it off on that. Um <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing more I got through the spirit. Let me just I want to double back one more time on this Isaiah because it's, it's all in all the, the video is, is beautiful, you know, because he's under, he's, you can tell in the spirit, he's understanding that he's Esau without saying it, you know, he understands that he's Esau. Okay. He, he, he's got, he's, he's, he's modeling himself just like, look, look at, look at the, the, the back screen. He's in the wilderness or, or the woods. I mean, you know, so, and he's going to say it at the end on how he's out there trying to hunt. So he knows, you know, he knows. But I'm going to read this one more time. We're going to get up out of here. This is Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And that's what's going on right now. The world is is waking up. Okay. It ain't got to be on the news. This is this is a, a this is a um, like a hidden thing through the, uh, a hidden thing out, outside of what, what, you know, what everybody is seeing right now. But nations is waking up to find out who they are, man. Specifically, the Israelites. And then Esau, he, he's understanding that he is an Edomite. Okay? Through the spirit of power, how about Shemel Shai? The Lord is doing this. And he's using us to do it. You see? Hold on. It's a lot, here. Sometimes when you want to shut up and keep speaking, and then <laughs> a scripture pops in your head. This is... um. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. What is that talking about? The wicked is being revealed. We're identifying who the wicked man of the earth is, and it's Esau. Okay? And it said, by the spirit of thy mouth, because we're saying these things, we're, we're pointing them out and saying the wicked is Esau. Okay? The wicked is Esau. The wicked is the so-called white man. So Job 9 and 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. That was the blessing of Esau. The fatness of the earth. Shall I go back? Genesis the 27th chapter, man. He got the fatness of the earth, right? That, that, that represents that he is the man, the earth who he's the man that the earth was given unto. <coughs> okay. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges. Who's the judges? The top judge is the Most High, then the Son of Shai, then the holy angels, then the Israelites. He covered the faces up and put them, them, them pink images up, them red images. Okay? That's what happened. If not, where and who is he? So who, who did it? Well, the, 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 the spirit was, was placed on, uh, on, on, uh, on these Israelite camps and groups. To, to, to wake up and identify who the wicked is and it and, and it landed on you so-called white people all right I say so-called because you're red and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of Satan 
all power and signs and uh, and lying wonders. Okay, I ain't gonna keep on going on, but you get the point. So through the spirit of our mouth, we are revealing who you are, and that's going back to Isaiah twenty-five and seven. Okay, the casting cover of all of over all people, man. You know, and and one and and the one who we pulled the sheep the the, the sheet over Esau. Okay, what well, took the sheet took the sheet off his face was Esau, which is the so-called white man. Okay, and with that, call on La Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Chakudash Barakat Tum. The man is my apostle, Great Millstone. Citation: I can four points pushing the sheep sincerely, love, disrespect, fear, and trembling. Yahweh Rakazad, this was uh, edifying. Shalom, Obat Babar.